Where you trying to go? That's all I hear, all day. Here comes some more. Let that be the last one. I'm not stopping no more. Anyway, so hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Simone, and sorry, I'm driving. <laughs> um, before we get into the vlog, please make sure you like. Before we get into the vlog, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can join the family. So yeah, I am, oh, today's Saturday, happy Saturday. It's currently 1.55, a way to go view some apartments, which are not far from me, but I live kind of late, and as y'all can see there, hold on, let me get over y'all. Since the last vlog, yeah, since the last vlog, I know I did not have any local viewing apartments, but I've been viewing some throughout the week and it's actually been going pretty good. So, um, fingers crossed and I'm praying that, you know, this one is a good viewing as well, or a good tour as well. Um, so yeah, like I said, today is Saturday. I also took my acrylics off and I did my own gel set. The video is probably going to be posted before this vlog because I'm done well obviously i'm done <laughs> with that video i just need to go back and do the voiceover um and then yeah so that'll be posted before this vlog i come from viewing this apartment i think i'm gonna go to the car wash because my car she is dusty like she looks like don't nobody love her she ain't never had no love in her life but i love my car so i'm gonna go wash her today and then I also need to stop and get some air in my tires. Here this week, it was pretty cool outside. It got down to like the 40s. And you know, when the temperature goes up and down your tires, like the pressure starts acting funny. And then um, later today, me and Keisha are gonna go to this thing in, in Frisco. I don't know if y'all remember, I think that was last year during Vlogmas, we went to go see the Christmas lights. But this time they're doing, well in October, they're doing something for Halloween. So they have like, I think there's, I saw that there were like different events. Um, and I saw that they also have, I saw that they also have axe throwing, which I wouldn't do that because it looks fun. So yeah, that's where I'm going later today. But we're not doing that until later this evening. I think she said like seven or eight. But yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to come say hey. I am going to, I'm gonna record a little bit, um, you know, just so y'all can see what I see. From what I saw online, the apartments are really nice. Um, they're kind of a new build. They haven't been, they haven't been up for that long, just a couple of years. But yeah, so that's where I'm going now. So I will see y'all whenever I get to the apartments. I look like a mom today. <laughs> I have my hair twisted up because I didn't want to take it down until me and Keisha leave later tonight. So I just put it back and just put a hat on. But yeah, giving very much mom, a cool mom. I'll see how whenever I get to the apartments. back from seeing the apartments um i'm currently at the car wash right now I'm trying to it looks like they're arguing i'm not really sure what they're doing it was dusty extra dusty but yeah went to go see the apartment which i love um i did get a little bit of footage now that that was the only unit that she had available to show me 
um, but it still gave me an idea of what the other units that I'm looking for, you know, what I'm, what I'm looking at. Um, so yeah, I love the community over there. It's really quiet and kind of ducked off in the back. So I'm not on the main street, which I do love. Sorry, if it gets loud, that's these brushes. Okay. I just talked down when I get out. So I'm not gonna vacuum, damn close to my face. I'm not gonna vacuum out my car cause um, I don't need to, but I am just gonna wipe down the inside. Dang, it ain't no spots open. In just a moment. Take your time. Uh, with oat milk. What, would you like the whipped cream? Uh, no whip. And what else? Um, and can you add one pump of caramel syrup? Of uh, course. What else? No, that's it. Another thing that really made the the tour the tour experience so pleasurable I guess or I just felt really comfortable but the girl that was showing me around her name her name was Callie which is really really sweet she gave me a lot of information about um, you know like the renting or not renting but basically about the apartment business and what I should look for as a renter to get you know the best deals and I really appreciate her for that I knew I had a little bit of knowledge about it just because I've you know I've rented apartments before but she really gave me like some useful like detailed information and I just really appreciate her for that because she didn't have to like she didn't have to tell me that so really really sweet and customer service is a big deal for me hold on y'all the Starbucks line about to go to discount tires so they can put some air in my tires because I need for this light to go off so yeah um how is everyone's weekend going leave me some comments below and let me know what y'all did this weekend let me know if anybody has went to the fair or you know any festivities spent family time whatever I'll be saying leave me some comments down below and y'all really just don't be doing this so I mean do I need to ask y'all a different way? Do y'all just take me for a joke? Because I really love to read the comments and y'all just don't be leaving no comments. Like, what is that? Tell me what that's about. Tell me what I need to do. What do I need to do for y'all to leave some comments? So yeah, if you have a discount tire um, in your area, they usually, they'll have like a little station set up outside and it'll usually say like free air. What are you about to do? Yeah, they'll usually have a little station set up outside of the garages so you don't even have to get out your car. Like you can just drive around and they'll just put air in your tire and send you on about your way. Um, so I would definitely check that out if you have a discount tire wherever you are. Hello. How are you doing? I just wanted to see if y'all could check the pressure. My light keeps coming on. Okay, so, yeah. you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you, you too. Okay, so that was quick and easy. So yeah, I'm about to go home now. I'll see y'all whenever I get to the house. Hey y'all, so I'm home now. Actually, I've been home for quite some time. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all some of the stuff that I got from Shein. It's literally like five items. But I still just wanted to show y'all in case y'all wanna get it to. This is why I had a hat on because I look like Celie from the color purple. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try this stuff on. Okay, so the first thing I got was these jeans. I think these jeans, wait, let me make sure my blue bag. <laughs> these jeans are so cute. I'm not sure if these are considered mom jeans or boyfriend jeans, but they're just like, they're not, um, excuse me, I'll move my camera down so y'all can see. But yeah, they're really, like, I just love the way they fit. Like, they're not too tight, but then they're not too loose. Um, so yeah, this is what they look like. And these are actually a really good jean material. Um, they're not a stretchy jean, so I'm gonna warn y'all now, these jeans are not stretchy, like <laughs> not stretchy at all. So um, if if I can find the name, cause I took the tag and stuff off, if I can find the name, I'll put it on the screen. But I do know for sure that I got these in a the size large. I know they come in a small, medium, and large. As you can see, like, the button part is over here and i thought that was just a really cute detail um the only thing i hate is that the little button on the inside it came off and i think it's i'm not sure what i did but yeah it came off but yeah this is this is what they look like i think i am gonna wear these tonight whenever i go with keisha to um whenever we go see the lights or whatever it is <laughs> whenever i go with her later but i'm gonna wear this with a cropped shirt because i feel like you should really show this detail and yeah it's just really cute got this graphic t-shirt um and it just says lonely hearts club Oh, we'll wear this together. But yeah, I really like the shirt. Pretty good material. It's not that like shiny, stretchy material, which I appreciate because I hate shirts like that. It just makes it look just cheap. But yeah, this is, I'm, I don't know who this is, <laughs> but I don't know. I just like the colors together and I thought it was really cute. So yeah. And then the back is just plain. There's nothing on the back. So yeah. The next thing I got was this skirt. I love the fringe. I thought that was so cute and I don't have anything like this in my closet like I normally I normally play it pretty safe with, with all my clothing like the most out there thing that I have is probably my graphic t-shirts but everything else is pretty safe and like plain so I thought this was really cute um you can wear this a lot of different ways and yeah um it is just a pencil skirt color black but I feel like the fringe on the side, it just really like adds to it and it, it makes your outfit fun. So even if I were, was to wear this with like a plain black t-shirt or you know, like anything plain, I feel like this still would add to it. So yeah, I really like this. Yeah, it goes all the way down and I'm 5'2", so yeah. <laughs> um, If you're a little bit taller than me, then I'm sure you could get away with this because like I said, it goes all the way down. I'm not sure what I will wear this with, but yeah. So let's try on the next thing. These are actually two separate pieces, but like she and I, I think you just, I think you did something because what is so soft. Like I'm not yet like, I wish y'all could feel this. Oh my God. Line, why am I so loud? I think this is a new line uh, with Shein. It's called Glow Mode. And this is like their athletic wear line. Feel is, it's comfortable. So like, oh my God. And then it says it's not see-through, which I can. Do you see that? Like, girl, girl hold on, wait, cause y'all not getting the full effect. Do you see that? Like, it's just, 
really can't see the detail, but it's like it it overlaps right here. V cut, which I think that also, you know, gives you shape if you're a little more, you know, narrow. And then I also love that it has the armhole on the sleeves. Like this is just even if you're not going to the gym, I feel like this is still like a cute everyday something to throw on, um, running errands and stuff like that. The prices are a little bit higher than what they normally would be on Shein, but I feel like the price matches the quality. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, I don't know if I'm late to this line or whatever, but if I'm not, I'm pretty sure the girls are snatching all of these up. So that's the end of this try on haul, or that's the end of the portion of this vlog. So yeah, I'll see y'all whenever I'm leaving later tonight. On the next day. Good morning, y'all. So today is Sunday. It is 10:34. Yeah, don't don't do that. Thank you. A work shirt. I'm getting ready to go meet my dad. <clears throat> I think it's called Black Market Expo or Black Sh Wall Street, Black Wall Street. I forgot, I'll put the name on the screen, but basically we're gonna be one of the vendors for that event today. So yeah, yesterday, well not yesterday, last night, I did not come back because me and Keisha did not end up going to that place I was telling y'all about in Frisco. So it was my fault <laughs> because I forgot that I had to get up early today to, you know, get ready to go to the event. Cause y'all know I don't stay close to my dad, so it takes me like an hour to get there. Today, he should ended up getting a flat tire. Um, thank God that she was safe, but yeah, she had to wait for somebody to come pick her up. And by the time she got home, I was like, dang, I forgot that, you know, we having this event today. So I was like, mm. so yeah <laughs> you want to go another day but yeah so we're gonna so we're gonna go friday um yeah we're gonna go friday don't be like me y'all don't don't be that friend like me <laughs> i hope she don't hate me but yeah so i just wanted to say good morning i don't know if i'm gonna be vlogging i don't need to start i don't know if i'm gonna be vlogging as much at today's event because i think my dad he wants me to get some footage uh, for his channel, which by the way, if y'all didn't know, my dad does have a channel. Um, the channel is Total Barbecue. I'll put it on the screen. Make sure y'all follow him for good barbecue tips and you know, stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, just wanted to check in and say good morning. I hope everybody's having a blessed Sunday. And yeah, I'll see y'all in a few seconds. Where's the It's like, I passed the auto zone. It's um, like if you come to the end, it's in front of this flash saver. Uh -huh. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, the grocery store. Yeah. yeah. So on the right side is where you'll come to. The right on side the right of the side store. Of the grocery store. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I am here. I was just on the phone with my dad. As you can hear, he is running behind. So my, my battery is going to die. I literally. I don't know how, but um, yeah, if I do vlog, it'll probably just be on my phone. See here and just wait till my dad get here. So I'll see y'all whenever we get out and start getting set up. getting busy until 
we was almost done. It was supposed to be over at five. We didn't end up getting done selling until maybe like maybe like 5 30 a little over 5 30 but yeah so i had to stop and get some gas first as y'all seen why are you it's a green light yeah the event went pretty good y'all when i say it was so windy outside there was a few times where i was about to blow away like the wind was putting me on my tiptoes so yeah i didn't really get to vlog anything i had my dad's friend she vlogged some stuff on the the inside because it was the inside there were vendors on the inside and then we were outside so i gave her my camera to like vlog some stuff but my camera ended up dying and i'm not sure what footage she got she got so hopefully it was some good footage that i can put in here but yeah i just wanted to check in with y'all to continue driving keep my eyes on the road but y'all yeah, see y'all whenever i get home Hey y'all, so today is, actually is the following weekend from the footage that y'all just saw. Um, so today is uh, Saturday, October 29th. It's currently 1.32. So I'm getting ready to go meet my dad. We are going out to eat, kind of like a, he said a business lunch, just to discuss business ideas. It is very gloomy outside. It's been raining for like the past couple of days. Um, so I came prepared, I brought my umbrella. So yeah, I'm about to get ready to drive to Frisco. I just wanted to say hey to y'all. So I know I told y'all that me and Keisha were gonna go to the Fright Lights in Frisco, but some other stuff happened and we ended up not being able to go. But that's okay, we, we'll do something else. We'll find something else to do. But yeah, I just wanted to say hey. Um, I did do my hair a little bit different. I, I still have it in a ponytail, but I left two little pieces down. I have one piece tucked behind my ear because it was getting on my nerves. So yeah, try to do a little bit, something different. Not really, but uh, yeah, that's where we're going. So I'll see y'all whenever we get there. I'm just saying I 
for me. Yeah, one and then call that you talk to girl. All right, y'all, so I am back in the car. It's currently 344. A successful business meeting. We talked about a lot of, you know, business-related things, uh, some good ideas. Um, and by the way, when I say business meeting, I'm referring to my dad's business, the barbecue business. All right, y'all, so I'm about to get ready to um, go, obviously, but I'm gonna stop by Target because I need to pick up a few things and uh, yeah. I'm gonna go to, right now I'm currently in Frisco and I think there's a Target out here. I've never been to this one before, so I'm about to pull it up and see how far away it is. Oh my God, those lights. Y'all see them lights? I mean, that's just too bright. It's, I need for you to back up a little bit so I can. Parking garage. And it's a lot of nice cars. And I'm not paying for no Range Rover if I hit it. I'm gonna have to take off. <laughs> now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Oh, thank you. She's on your jeans. She is. Really? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you too. So let me just say, I think I got a little short clip of what those lines look like. Basically, worst <laughs> Target experience I've ever had in my life. Well, actually, let me not be dramatic. That was probably the worst I've ever seen the Target lines in my life. Now, that's serious. Like, that's not even being dramatic. Realize that it is Halloween weekend, so that may have a lot to do with it. But, oh my God. <laughs> like, those lines, those lines are terrible. I don't, I've never been in a Target line for 20 minutes. That's how long I was in that line. Now, the actual Target trip in itself that was a 10 out of 10, meaning I got everything that I needed and a couple of extra things that I found that I really didn't need, but I got it anyway. <gasps> Tomorrow, I'm going to my dad's house. Well, my dad's friend's house. Um, we're doing another Soul Food Sunday and I forgot to pick up my ingredients for what I'm bringing tomorrow. <sighs> I'll figure it out because I'm not, I'm not going to make it in that store. I might have to make a trip in the morning, but I'm not going back in that store. <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to start driving and get home. Good morning, y'all. Today is Sunday. It's currently 10.50. I'm on my way. Well, first I gotta make a stop by the store first, but after that I'll be on my way to my dad's friend's house because today we're doing a soul food Sunday. Oh. Okay. Um, so yeah, today we're doing a soul food Sunday. I was gonna do sloppy gel sliders, like a vegetarian style, but I couldn't find the meat substitute that I needed. So I'm actually gonna make guacamole still good um the theme is well not theme but we're doing pretty much like finger foods those pizza i'm making guac i don't know what everybody else is bringing but yeah just like fun snack comfort foods leaving early because everybody's supposed to be there supposed to be there by i think 12 um because i think everybody wants to get there to watch the game which i don't care about 
because I don't really care about football. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to make sure I leave early enough so I can stop by the store and then make it there. I may be a few minutes late, but it's okay because we know what happened last time. I got there on time and everybody else, I don't know if FedEx deliver on Sunday. But yeah, last time I got there on time and we didn't eat till maybe like an hour and a half later. So we'll see what happens this time. But yeah, I'll see y'all whenever I get into the store. Y'all already know what store I'm going to. And if you guess, then you're right. <laughs> so I will see y'all whenever I get to the store. So I don't know what this lady sent, but it don't look right. The ointment, probably so. That, is that the compound pharmacy for Baton Rouge? I don't think it is. I said, is that the compound pharmacy for? Steve, investigators say they have the suspect identified and a warrant is out for his arrest. 
Alrighty y'all, so today is November 1st. I can't believe it's already November, but it is. So yeah, today is November 1st. By the way, if y'all see my nails, please disregard, because I have, sorry y'all, obviously I'm driving. <laughs> but yeah, I got a plethora of nails missing. So yeah, I gotta get that figured out. But anyway, so yeah, today, like I said, it is November 1st. It is, Say Monday or Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. So I am just now leaving work. I had to come to the office today to do a few things. And I'm vlogging on my phone. So if the quality is different, then yeah, that's why. But yeah, anyway, so just wanted to say happy Tuesday. Um, I didn't get to come back Sunday night after I left. So flu Sunday. I didn't end up getting home. So maybe like, what time was it? Maybe a little bit before 10. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of give y'all a recap of the night. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we played card games, had some good food, watched a movie. We watched Nope. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, if anybody can give me the actual concept of that movie, I will send you $20 in cash out right now. Like seriously. <laughs> If you, I mean, I'm going to need for Jordan Peele himself to give me a call and tell me what he was thinking when he made that movie. Because <laughs> it just like, it literally made no sense. I'm one of those people who like movies that, I like movies that make you think. I don't like movies that's just like the whole plot, you figure it out five minutes into the movie. I like movies that make you think. Like his previous movies. It just, oh, not figure out what the concept of that movie was now i will say i did like the movie i just i couldn't figure out what it was about this car is literally pissing me off why are you driving like that first of all it makes no sense you don't need to be nowhere that fast anyway so back to what i was saying so yeah even though I don't know what that movie was about, I still liked it just because, I don't know, maybe because I'm weird and I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I liked the movie. Um, and then what else? Yeah, that's pretty much all we did that night. I'm actually at the gas station because my gas tank is saying I got 16 miles left. So I'm about to get some gas real quick. Yeah, I'm just on my way home now. I really want to stop and get something to eat because I haven't eaten it. Well, actually, I had a banana and some chips because, yeah, so that's all I had to eat. But I really want to stop and get something to eat, but I'm just, I'm going to make the adult decision and just cook something when I get home. So, yeah. I want to say rest in peace to take off. I forget his real name. Um... I know it starts with a K. I forgot his real name. But yeah, I saw that he passed away this morning. Um, by the way, if you don't know, take off from Migos. Yeah, that was that was really sad. It was the reasoning was very just dumb. But anyway, yeah, it that was just a really really sad moment. Um I did say a prayer for his family because I know that's just yeah it's hard to lose anybody just it just shows you that the world people don't care in the world and people are just literally evil they let their egos get to them and just yeah yeah um i really i i don't like talking about um i know death is inevitable but sometimes i really don't like talking about that because it just I think it it snaps me into the reality that we face every day the fact that life is so short and you really just you know it happens or something something that we can't always prevent but it's just it's really sad so like I said I just wanted to come back because I didn't get to talk to y'all on Sunday night I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here I've already started editing the vlog so I just pretty much gotta add this 
little piece to it and then I'll be done um, and I had I edited like four hours worth of footage so yeah it was a lot but I really did enjoy editing this vlog I'm not sure why I don't know what the difference was but hope that y'all enjoyed this vlog as much as I did and I will see y'all in the next video yeah as always if you haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe so you can join the family yeah I will see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.